Well, hi everyone, I'm Andrew Miller and this is Idea Dispenser. So today I got an email asking me for my mailing address so that Georgia Tech can send me my diploma. This is really the last step in a whole string of steps that constitute my graduation. And one of the weirder ones was something called the Survey of Earned Doctorates, which is a questionnaire that the federal government distributes to all science and engineering PhD students and it's the closest thing we ever get to an exit interview. Like if you leave your job, normally the HR department will want to know what it was like, how you felt, but you don't really get anything like that for grad school. So today I thought I would create one and I'm going to call it the grad school exit interview. So I study computing, I study human computer interaction, and I am a human centered computing PhD student. I tell people that I study the way that computers influence you when you're not using them. Oh, for sure, telling people that I'm a computer scientist usually stops the conversation flat. really sure. Uh, I have a degree in human-computer interaction, which is much more based on making things usable and designing systems, and I was a user experience designer, so I think that they had an idea of what I was doing when I was doing that. But I don't think it was until they came to my dissertation defense that they really got an idea of what I do, and since they've been to that presentation, I feel like they probably have a good idea. Um, my dad's also a professor, so he has a specific idea of like what I do all the time. It really depends what kind of phase I'm in. So right now I'm doing an interview study. So depending on when the participant is available, I schedule myself to be available for them. In between that, I'm also doing some qualitative coding for another study. So I'll spend some time at the computer applying tags to um, interview transcripts, or in this case, it's postings from Craigslist. But like last week, I was working on turning a dissertation chapter into a workshop paper. I was mainly spending my time writing and editing. And if I'm writing the deployment, I'm spending my time either making sure the technology works or meeting with people. As a student, I've had the luxury of mainly focusing on one thing at a time. But what that thing is could vary depending on where I am and what project I'm working on. I think that's one of my favorite things about doing research actually is that I get to do all sorts of different stuff. I get to have control and ownership over a whole project and really participate in all of the parts of it. The hardest part comes from having to make that switch from one thing to another. I don't really ever feel like I do it very cleanly. So for example, this summer when I switched from being in full writing and editing mode back into working on a new project proposal, it was really tough to switch gears in a way. And I find that challenging. So it took me six years to graduate in total. I started in the fall of 2008. I originally thought I could get it done in maybe four or five years. I have a master's degree already and I was able to use some of my coursework for the PhD. But it turned out that actually the one thing you can't rush is becoming good at research and getting that dissertation worthy topic. And that took a normal amount of time for me. I don't know if I'm a, a grown-up, so I'm certainly not paid <laughs> like a grown-up. I started to feel maybe about a year and a half ago like I was no longer a junior or middle level student but was finally a senior student. And I felt like I actually had things to tell younger students that I felt confident in. A couple of things coincided with this. I actually taught a class for the first time and it turned out that I can do that. So that was a confidence booster. And also I had really figured out my main 
study for my dissertation and I felt like, okay, I've been through this, I, I know how to do this now, I'm, I feel like a grown-up who can control his own research destiny. That's not to say that I haven't grown since then or that I'm not growing now, but that was the time when I felt like a grown-up. So I've got my dissertation here, I had it printed out, and the title is Social Tools for Everyday Adolescent Health. Okay, so I was specifically looking at how social media might help um, adolescents, that's like middle school kids, get more physical activity by turning them into helpers of each other, by helping them help each other. And so the dissertation is about um, three studies that I've ran that look at different tools and how they do or do not help students offer social support for each other in their everyday lives for health and fitness activity. So I'm actually, uh, I'm starting a two-year postdoc at the University of Washington working in health informatics. It'll actually be in the medical school. Um, Georgia Tech doesn't have a medical school, but we do work on a lot of health-related stuff, and I've been getting more interested in that as I've been doing my dissertation and my research. And I'm super excited to move more in the direction of figuring out a way to get my ideas into healthcare and grow my own appreciation of that topic. After that, I'm hoping to become a professor. That really is the job that I have long wanted and it's the job that I feel I'm training myself for. Yeah, I actually think that the PhD was really worthwhile for me. I had gone straight from undergrad to grad school and did a master's degree and then I had some time to actually work in the real world and realize that it wasn't scary, it just wasn't necessarily exactly what I wanted to do. And so the PhD for me was a way to get into uh, academia to get to do research all the time or at least as the primary thing that I do. And I think I've accomplished that and my next step is an interesting one and I'm still excited and I'm still starting new research projects. So yeah, I think the PhD was worthwhile for me. Time will tell, but I, I think it's been very good to me. So there you have it. That's my grad school exit interview. Please go ahead and answer these questions yourselves. I'd love to hear your answers. And even if you don't make your own video, I'd love to hear your experiences. So go ahead and like this video and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in a couple weeks. Bye.